take a quick tour of the home office slash gaming room slash production room whatever you want to call it uh we own a pug so this is just some artwork of a uh, pug smoking a cigar none of us smoke ironically but i just thought it was a funny picture uh, this here is a cheap little lamp picked this up from uh, i believe it was hobby lobby for like five bucks uh it's, it's the moon um pretty cool it doesn't give off a lot of light but it's it's pretty cool looking and uh, you can change it, you can obviously turn it off, set it to white or like a yellowish glow. It's pretty cool. Uh, these are a couple of sound absorption panels that I built. Um, there's a couple up here that you see above that, that baffle. There's a couple in front of the closet. And there's another one over here behind the uh, entry door. I made these myself and they work, they work really well. Right here, uh, this is the, um, a lot of people are buying these from Ikea pegboards. I actually uh, made this myself. It's just um, some thin plywood and a ton and ton of holes in them. Um, it's pretty cool though, it, it works well. I think it looks nice. It looks like it could use a fresh coat of paint. Uh, sitting on the front here, we got the classic monkey with the headphones on. We're season ticket members for the Tennessee Titans. So every year we get uh, bobbleheads. Um, and you know, these are all the bobbleheads that we've gotten over the years. And of course, Skyline from the Fast and Furious. It's my uh, favorite car in the entire series. Over here, we have a pair of the uh, Audio-Technica M50Xs. I use these anytime I need to do some quick, you know, quick mixing and I don't want to use the studio monitors or I'm traveling. I uh, just got a spare XLR cable here and a spare instrument cable right here. Behind that uh, pegboard, baffle board up there, we've got some of the uh, Govi strip lights. And then down here, right behind the uh, this futon, I have another set of Govi uh, strip lights there. This is uh, awesome right here. One of my favorite movies of all time, The Sandlot, when uh, Babe Ruth comes in and says, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. I saw this at Hobby Lobby as well for like five bucks. I just had to pick that up. I love that little sign right there. Okay. Um, over here, we just got a, uh, a plant. Pick this up again from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was about 40 bucks. It, it looks nice. It adds some, I guess, fake life, I guess, <laughs> uh, to the room, but it also kind of hides those cables right there. I didn't feel like, you know, putting more holes in the wall and running the cables down behind the wall. I know it's lazy, but I just didn't, I just didn't feel like, you know, putting more holes in the wall. Uh, here we got a little Nikita Kucherov Funko Pop. It's my favorite hockey player. We're originally from Tampa, Florida, so big Lightning fan. I uh, got a Govi lamp in the background and then a, a little dad sign uh, that my son got me for Father's Day a couple years back. Uh, this is an A.J. Brown autographed football from back when he played with the Titans. Got it in the case there. Uh, Notorious B.I.G., Funko Pop, Ghost Face, Bobblehead, and then we got a little uh, Groot in the back there. He doesn't stand up, though. It, it's The weight is off, so he has to lean. Uh, here's another autograph. This is probably one of the top tight ends to ever play for the Tennessee Titans. This is Delaney Walker autograph here. Uh, we met him at, at the game one day, took a picture with my kid. Super nice guy. Super nice guy. Signed this football for, for my son. Here's the uh, studio monitors that I use. I got a pair of the uh, Yamaha HS8s. I love these things. Uh, Mid-range in price, I'd say. There's some cheaper stuff out there, but there's also a lot more expensive stuff, but these things sound great. This is probably my favorite piece of artwork in the room here. Um, saw this, uh, someone posted a picture of it on uh, Facebook and I reached out to them, they told me where they got it. Uh, this is uh, Three Wise Monkeys. You got the hear no evil, speak no evil, and see no evil. I really like this thing. 
All right, moving over here, uh, we've got my mic. This is the Shure SM7B microphone. A lot of people use this. Um, I also have a cloud lifter to use with this because the, uh, the signal can be pretty low on this microphone. Um, but with the Universal Audio Volt, I don't even need to use the cloud lifter, but he has a great mic. Here's my other uh, HS8 studio monitor, another autograph football here. This one was signed at the uh, Washington uh, Commanders football game. We took a road trip out there and got seats right by the Titans Tunnel. Uh, this one's signed by uh, David Long Jr., who uh, now plays with the Dolphins and also a uh, current tight end for the Titans, Chig Oconquo. For my sub, I have a 10-inch uh, KRK. Again, this is a, uh, it works well. It's not the cheapest option, but there's definitely way more expensive options out there, so it, it works for, for what I need it for. Here we have a, uh, just a mirror sign with little LED lights behind it. Of course, we gotta have a candle, keep the room smelling good, and then some, uh, some more fake plant life. This is my gaming headset that I use. This is the, uh, pair of Turtle Beach Stealth Pros. Uh, I like these things. Um, I had the uh, Astro A50s, but I got a really small head and those things were way too big. They kept falling off on me. Uh, this is just a little headphone stand that my wife picked up for me off Amazon, real cheap, but it works. It's got some power outlets and a couple of USB ports. Here we got a stream deck, which honestly, I don't use very often at all. I honestly don't even know why I still have it. Dreams of uh, being a live streamer one day maybe. This is my favorite piece of audio equipment here. This is the Universal Audio Volt. I used to have the Apollo Twin, um, but ever since Universal Audio came out with the uh, plugins that you, you could run natively, um, I switched over uh, to the Volt and just run all the plugins natively. This is one of those uh, Nixie tube type clocks here. Just picked this up off of Amazon. It's pretty cool. I like it. It looks good. You can change the colors uh, to whatever you want. Um, you can leave it the uh, classic, like old school looking orange if you want to as well, but I like it. It's just, a, it's a nice look. And then here's what uh, runs everything. This is a custom PC that I built myself. I actually just built this one a couple weeks ago. I've got a video on the build process if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. It's got the uh, i7 14700K in it for the processor. It's got a, a RTX 4080 Super. Uh, Asus, ROG Strix, ROG Strix motherboard, uh, Corsair fans, the IQ system with the LCD AIO pump, uh, Corsair Dominator RAM. I mean, this is a great PC. I love it. It's working. It's working really well so far. Down here under the desk, I got this cheap little, uh, cheap little controller holder here. It's where I put my uh, store my controller so I can keep it off of my desk and. It's far enough back that I don't hit it with my uh, with my knees when I when I roll the chair in. Take it out for you here. This is the um, this is the Scuff Envision Pro controller, and it's just got a um, a Control Freaks cap on the uh, on the right analog stick here. But yeah, I love this thing. It also um, is Scuff was I guess bought out by Corsair or is run by Corsair, so you can actually control everything for this controller inside the IQ software, which is the same software used to control all of the uh, lighting and everything like that. Then here, this is just a uh, cheap, cheap 55 inch 4K TV I picked up from Walmart. I run it as my second monitor and got another set of uh, Govi light strips behind it. And that's it guys. I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to check this out with me. If there's anything that you've seen that you want some more information on or you want me to do a video review of something like that, just uh, leave me a comment, let me know. I uh, appreciate you guys. And if you could uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you next time.